Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Nasa with Expansive Taste and today I was going to talk about my experience as a stay-at-home girlfriend but I'm scratching that idea because who needs the details? I need to just get straight to the point and tell you why you shouldn't be one. Honestly, um, probably 9 out of 10 times if you become a stay-at-home girlfriend, the experience is going to be ghetto. Honestly, the only way I can see it actually turning out okay is if you are that influencer living in a big city and your boyfriend is a millionaire, a billionaire, whatever. He's making he's making big money, okay? He's got to be making big money if you want the situation to end up any type of good. Because the fact is, men without money are pretty insecure and it's even heightened. That insecurity is heightened when they know that they have to take care and provide for a woman. Um, and she's not necessarily financially contributing. Um, and the thing is, they don't want the woman to financially contribute. If he's agreeing for you to be a stay-at-home girlfriend, he doesn't want you to necessarily financially contribute. What I'm trying to say is that he doesn't necessarily want you to have to contribute. But then when he realizes that he's not actually making enough to provide this kind of life, when he realizes that he's not that guy that can do that, that's when... He is just overtaken by his insecurity and he eventually just acts in a way to push you away. And the way he does that is by devaluing you. And that's pretty much what I want to focus on in this video. I'm not going to talk about how um, being a stay-at-home girlfriend means you're out of the workforce and will be shit out of luck when you actually have to work again. That's not that's not a real problem. Honestly, if you need a job, you can get a job. It's not a big deal. It's generally pretty easy to get back into the workforce and find a roommate, start your life over. Um, that part, we're not worried about that, okay? What I'm trying to save you from is the humiliation that this man is going to put you through because he's devaluing you. Because that part hurts the most, honestly. Okay, so let's set a story. Let's say you're an artist and you want to pursue your craft more. And so what you need to do is invest more time into your craft. You want to develop your skills. You want to get better. You want to do more, but it requires time. It requires you to not, to pretty much have as much time as you need and have an open schedule and not have to worry about going to work. And so you come up with a solution with your partner that, hey, if I come help you where you're at, like, is, I don't know, is it okay if I'm just here just taking care of my art while I'm taking care of you and, like, we're just both happy because you're being taken care of and I'm being taken care of because all I really need is my art and I will be fine. Um, and as long as the bills are paid and I don't have to think and worry about that, I'm fine. Let's say that's you and you agree that you're going to clean for him, you're going to cook, you're going to do the laundry, you're going to do the grocery shopping, pretty much all these little things, just keeping the home nice, clean, happy, um, and all he has to do is just let you be in the space. And your partner is hearing this and he thinks that's amazing because that's what he needs. He goes to work, you know, five days a week um, and he doesn't always feel like he has the energy to cook and clean for himself and do all this little, this little busy work around the house. He doesn't like that part. And then you guys decide to live together and things are actually pretty good for the first couple of months. Things are just running smoothly. You get to work on your art and all you have to do is cook, clean, um, I don't know, get the groceries, pick up the mail. And he's very happy about this. You're packing him his favorite lunches, you're picking up all his favorite stuff from the grocery store. His work uniform is always there, just clean and ready. Um, and he's very grateful for this, but then eventually he just turns into a spoiled brat. And I mean, a spoiled brat. It starts off a little small and then it just grows and grows and he becomes needier and needier. He'll eventually just start making bigger messes because he'll know you clean up after him. And then he'll also pretty much demand you to be a freaking gourmet chef or something um, and he'll be like hey I've been thinking about trying like for example I don't know Indonesian food can you make some Indonesian food for me and then you're like I don't know how to make Indonesian food um, but I'll try I guess and then you make it and then he's like this isn't good and like I tried to tell you like I don't know what you thought this was like give me another chance um, but he gets mad he gets so mad that 
you're spending all this time at home and you're just not perfect because you're not the best maid, you're not the best chef, you're not the best sex worker that can give it out every single night or multiple times a day or whatever, whatever he thinks is the ideal version of a woman for him. Um, he's just going to get really spoiled and it's, it's not going to be enough. And the reason why he's devaluing your work and saying it's not enough is because he doesn't feel like he's enough. And so the only way that he can convince himself to spend any kind of money on you is if he imagines that he's with the best person in the entire world who's absolutely perfect everything, who's never sad. By the way, you're not allowed to be sad when you're a stay-at-home girlfriend. You're not allowed to feel lonely. You're not allowed to ask for anything. At some point, he's just gonna be like, you have everything you wanted. Why are you being like this? And then you're not realizing that the reason why you're feeling like this is because he's devaluing you. Because remember, you were happy. You were happy just doing all this stuff until he started taking advantage of you. And that is fact. If he is broke, he's going to trick himself into thinking that you're just draining money out of him. Therefore, he needs to drain service out of you. But the crazy thing is, you being there is not adding to any expense. Because guess what? He already had his place. He was already paying these bills. He just has to share the space now. But because he's broke, he's going to eventually think that the reason he's broke is because of you. He's going to think that the only reason why I'm broke is because this woman is draining resources out of me. She's using me for money, even though you're not getting shit, okay? Even the groceries, the, he's not paying for the groceries. Because somehow, through the negotiation, um, you still end up having to buy groceries just because you make like a, like $100 a week or something with your gig work. So with the little money you're making, you're still saving him money because he doesn't have to buy the groceries. And because you're cooking every day and packing him lunches, he's also saving money by not spending money on fast food. So why is he convinced that you're somehow gold digging? Because guess what? He's a broke man. He didn't give you an allowance. He might pretend to give you an allowance and then eventually kind of just ask for it back or something. Not really let give you a chance to use the money. Or he'll give you an allowance and then tell you to go buy something with it. Something that you didn't necessarily want to buy, but something that he needed. So he gave you money, but it was just to get him something. And deep down, he's going to know that he's in the wrong for deciding to take you in when he wasn't financially ready. So this is where it gets pretty ugly and he does the pushing away. He's going to do the whole, what do you bring to the table? Um, he's going to say, well, I can cook for myself. I could clean for myself. I could do all this stuff that you do for me. Why are you here? Why do I need you? He's going to complain about how you don't give head every day. He's going to complain about how you don't cook well enough. He's going to blame you for the reason that he's not growing. And he's pretty much going to forget about all the little ways you helped him. Like, for example, making sure that his phone is charged because he always forgets to plug it in and his phone is constantly dying. And making sure that his keys are in that specific spot so that all hell doesn't break loose when he's rummaging through everything trying to find his keys. You made life so easy easy for him yet he's really trying to say what do you bring to the table and it it's confusing to you it's so confusing to you because you know that he should be excelling now that you have given him the help now that he doesn't have to worry about the little things he should be excelling but because he's not he's blaming it on you but that's his own fault he should have taken advantage of that situation and done something with it. But that's not going to be the case um, for most scenarios. In most scenarios, he's just going to take advantage of you and, I don't know, make excuses about why he can't do this and why he can't do that. So at the time when you guys were making that agreement, he thought that that's what he needed. He thought that that's what he was ready for. He thought that the missing link was just having that extra help at home. That's what he thought, but he didn't realize that the reason why he wasn't successful wasn't because he didn't have extra help. It was because he wasn't creative enough. It was because he wasn't disciplined enough. It was because he wasn't ambitious enough. So don't be that stay-at-home girlfriend for the purpose of helping a guy grow. Um, because odds are, like, 
he's going to fail and he's going to blame you for it. And it's just going to be a very humiliating experience to know that you're doing so much for a person and it's just not enough. And um, yeah, and it wasn't really worth it at all for your own career and your own art because you have this man stressing you out, um, telling you that you're not good enough. And yeah, it's just, it's bumming you out and it's getting you out of your creative flow. So there are specific scenarios in which being a stay-at-home girlfriend can work, but if he's broke, it's not going to work out. Um, if he's not already, if he's not already super successful making at least 100k a year, it's not going to work out. Um, even if he is making that much, he could still very much choose to devalue you. So my general thought is don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to be taken advantage of and devalued by someone who is not rich and not your husband um pretty much if he's not fully committed to you to make you his wife in order for you to be a stay-at-home wife then it's just not going to be worth it um even stay-at-home wives get devalued so you have to make sure that you're a stay-at-home wife to a man who has money so those are pretty much all my thoughts um thank you so much for making it to this point of the video make sure you like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching beautiful people i send you my love Mwah. Thank you.